Hello everyone, it's Lorelei and I would like to welcome you this morning to my backyard under the mimosa tree where I would like to introduce to you my newest collection which I call Apronesque. This is a vintage apron theme and I had in mind kind of a 50s cute Doris Day kind of a look that I hope you will enjoy. It, I hope that it evokes fresh air and sunshine and hanging out the wash outside. You know, I've seen some women since who've said, yeah, I remember how charming that was hanging out the wash outside. But don't we like to look back to a simpler time, what we think was simpler, and uh, just sweet colors, simple primary colors, red, yellow, blue, daisies, posies, when things weren't so upscale and sophisticated. So here we have a fun, bright and cheery collection that is kind of that way for you. I hope that you will enjoy it. So I have my, the designs in the fabric collection to show you the embroidery and a few samples to show you how I have used it. So here we have the panel as usual. It is a random style panel with different size blocks from big to little. It also has this really cool little flower strip right here. These are just darling little, there are 16 different ones and all intentionally designed for a certain purpose and plus anything else you can think of. Then we have, of course, the tossed ladies. These are called the apronettes. They're very sweet and cute in their 50s outfits. And some of them are more modern. And then this is the apronettes on a yellow stripe, kind of a fun kitchen stripe. Speaking of kitchen stripes, one of my favorite in the whole collection is this lovely, simple, primary colored kitchen stripes. Great for towels and any kind of thing you can think of in the kitchen. And to go with that, I have these wonderful kitchen posies. And of course, together, they make a wonderful combination to use in a hundred ways. And then I have a couple of cute checks. This is, would be a turquoise and an orange. This I call flying aprons. These are larger scale aprons and really the black is intended to, to be colored. If you like coloring, this is a great pattern to color. And then this is the blue. And then this would be my nifty blue stripe, which goes with that beautifully. And a fun pink stripe because everybody needs a pink stripe in their stash. And then my favorite all time pattern in the group is called tossed skirts. Is that cute? That is the cutest thing I ever did, I think. It's just the sweetest thing and I hope that you will agree. Now, here we have, I'm just going to show you a few things that I've done with it. Here's the panel. Here we have a very large block and she's cropped real cute in just a happy fun way. And with her, I made this really big, uh, little, big little wall hanging. It might go in your laundry room or somewhere to brighten up a space. Oh, I see a bunny over there. Oh, goodness. My yard is full of fun spring life this time of year. And then, of course, the most obvious thing here is we have pot holders. One, two, three, and a couple on this side. These are the perfect size for a pot holder that um, you don't have to do anything except bind them from the back and you have instant pot holders. I've talked to ladies that say they've just sold hundreds of my pot holders with my dogs and cats out at craft shows. So these may work for you that way. And if you are among the fortunate few who have to do with the vintage trailer movement, this is the perfect collection for you. There's a lot of primary colors, red, simples, bright, happy, simple type of patterns in this. So here we have a, another from the, from the panel, which is these two right here. I thought of them as being a good scale for a, rug, a mug rug. And then, of course, we have this fabulous little posy strip here that I have mixed with the kitchen stripe here to make a really cute, fun little towel. And how quick these happen. 16 inches, chop them up in three strips and stick them on there and you're, and you're ready with the sweetest little hostess gift. And how perfect would that be on your little vintage trailer oven handle? Hope you can see that good in this setup. And then this 
block here. These three are kind of a tall, long, skinny one, three of them. Perfect for a water bottle holder. How cute is that? Will be the bell of the trail or the gym with that. And then of course the others, there's another larger style there that I made a cute little pillow with. This is the lady hanging out the wash. And so also of course I have the embroidery which is a really sweet group here. It has the two larger ladies hanging out. They're just hanging out. In fact I think that's their name. And then 20 some other designs of aprons and flowers like so. The large blow up for you here and then they're just the cutest thing to go on all things. And another thing I want to say about the coloring here, this collection goes totally with all of your basics, your red, yellow, blues. It can just add on forever to uh, enhance and em embellish this group. And then here is just a little board of the small designs in the embroidery which are just charming and the cute little simple basics that you can put with them. And then of course back here, I don't want to forget these, it's another apron like I'm wearing. How fun is this? A little Rick Rack. This is the idea of Rick Rack Stiffies. Cute little bistro apron here. I've used the three blocks for the pockets. Here we have some embroidery on this apron and some more of that cute Rick Rack. And how about this one? Is that cute? What kind of cute is that? That is just the tiniest, cutest little thing. And then this would be a little sneak preview of something that's coming up. This is a, a clothespin holder. We all need one of those these days, but really, you know, it's pretty handy hanging in your laundry room and you're always hanging things up somewhere. This would, this is a block and then this is an applique design with a little dog house. It's a kind of a sneak preview of something that's coming up, but I thought that it fits so well into this group, which I'm working on today. So I hope that you have enjoyed my vintage apron presentation and that apronesque will be in your sewing room soon cheering you up and brightening your day. So thanks for coming. I'll see you next time here at Lorelei Designs. Bye-bye.